passage began about three years ago when I was um, taking a run with my daughter, who was nine at the time, and she was coming along with me on her bicycle. We were trying to get her in shape for soccer season. And we had just uh, left uh, the house, and she confessed to me that, um, that she thought my books were boring. And I said to her, really, have you read them? And she said, no, but she could tell. She'd read the flaps. And I was a little taken aback by this, but she is a reader and she's very, very smart. And I, I tend to believe the things she tells me. So I said, okay, well, what would you like me to write about? And she said, well, she thought for a moment. And then she said, well, I would like it to have vampires in it, which seemed like a fair request. And she'd been reading a certain number of vampire books at the time. And I said, what else? And she said, I would like a girl who saves the world, which is not what I wanted to hear. It was a very tall order. And um, I said, well, okay, well, let's, let's see what we can do about that. And we, uh, through that fall, I would go running as she would come with me on her bicycle. And just as a way of sort of passing the time, I think, um, we started uh, sort of cobbling together uh, the, the, the basic plot line of the passage, and we spent about two or three months uh, just talking about the characters or talking about a story. The novel is part of a trilogy. Every important human bond, I think, is finds some expression in the pages of these books. Um, the value of friendship, loyalty, um, romantic love, um, all of the ways in which human beings meaningfully cohere to one another and form a community in order to survive and, and to continue. Um, those, are, those are all equally subjects of the book, but absolutely at the center of it is a father-daughter relationship. I'm a dad. <laughs> I, 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 guilty as charged. You know? One of the things I had to do to write this book was go walk the footsteps that my characters were going to walk. I went to every place that they go to, and I drove... Um, uh, from the, the journey of the, the journey of the novel, the principal journey of the novel is from Southern California to Colorado, and um, I, I took that trip and and used the same roads that they would use, albeit in the ones I was driving was in much better shape than the ones that they'll get to use a hundred years from now. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't send them anywhere I hadn't been. I didn't ask them to walk a mile I hadn't walked, and. You, know, you can sit at a place like this and you know how that works, what that does to your imagination, what that does to your sense of the, of the living, breathing reality of your characters. That's where it comes from, to be where they are, to use the things that they use, to see the things that they see. This spot is in some ways, and it actually is named Inspiration Point. It's a, um, this spot is in some ways where I think the book came from, from a very small um, uh, period of my life, a, per a matter of maybe just a few weeks, I think it was eight to ten weeks, in the early 90s when I, um, when I taught at an arts academy located here in the mountains in Southern California at about five, I guess we're about 5,000 feet. Um, a beautiful place with a majestic view that you can see. Um, and when I began formulating the, the, st the story of the passage and I, and I wanted to have a, a, a location, a, a remote place where a small group of survivors of a great viral catastrophe would be living a hundred years after the epidemic had essentially decimated the human race and ended human civilization as we know it. Immediately this place filled that slot. And I had not been here for almost 15 years at the time, probably just about 15 years. I, I, I planned the book and then I came back here. I, I took a trip to revisit it and I was shocked by the, the degree to which it, it perfectly suited the job that I had asked it to do in the novel. It actually begins at the spot where we are right now with the view that's over, the majestic, amazing view of the mountains and then the valleys of Southern California that's over my left shoulder. Now it begins at this moment at sunset. I, I must have remembered it.